my youtube channel anna so here and you are watching gage m impact on gamer nasa the channel's name is gamer nasa all right all right okay so as you guys can see we are almost ready to i think we are almost ready to put this game in the end this And as I am, I do not go in the right way. I think I went to the wrong way, I think. Where do I go in? Uh, join the adventure. The key too. here is consumer psychology. Oh yeah, forgot. I have to go to the high. I did not expect to test you. A reward on so, the road. How convenient. Man. I should not steal other side. <sighs> Alright, oh, come on. <laughs> Indeed, this is the cleansing bell. Hmm, it's in good condition. All right. Let's now, place the perfume let's go. we've prepared inside. All right, man. Time for you to get your own funeral. Of course. How would I know that the bell was with her otherwise? Suspicious, but if you don't want to talk about it, we won't pry. Oh Yes, that old granny asked us to tell you something If you have the time you can come over for tea I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea How are uh, you really that to tone do? does not suit you still her teapot is indeed very good. There are none better for brewing tea. When a suitable time arrives, I'll bring a spot of fine tea and pay her a visit. So what's the next step in our preparations? Alright, this might... should be the last. Please, it should be the hmm. last. Next, we need to purchase <laughs> kites. I... Kite flying? Is this our break time? <laughs> no, no. Kites are children's toys, yes. But they also play various symbolic roles in Liyue's rituals. I will explain it to you. But our next course of action should probably be to purchase the kites first. All right, dude. Oh, sure. Curiouser and curious. Is that even a word? All right, we are going to downtown, and as usual, I'm not taking a road when I have this. Come on, this is really cool. This is the highlight highlight of this game for me, actually. This is really fun. Enough. Boom. Ah, sir, you're here. The seven kites you asked for have been made to order. Would you like to take them now? Yes, thank you. 
And of course, it's you do not have to money. see customers who want to buy this type of kite nowadays. In the early days, we used to get orders from people of all walks of life. Well, this is Mr. Zhang Li from the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, so he's probably well versed in all these walks of life. We've talked about a whole bunch of things while traveling with him. He seems to know Liyue's favorite topics, money and government, really well, but he likes talking about less useful topics instead. Well, that's because I prefer to share fun things with you. <laughs> Children's toys are very fun things, that's for sure. I enjoy watching the children at play as much as anyone else, but there is more to it than that. Finely crafted toys are well-loved by children, but this craft itself has been honed over thousands of years, and there is meaning behind that. I have made kites in Liyue for 40 years, and I am intimately familiar with the forms passed down from my ancestors. The meaning of these seven kites is far from banal. Indeed. These are decorations used in the rite of parting. The seven kites represent the seven. I took the liberty of coloring outside the lines when doing the insignia of the Animo Archon. As for the kite that honors the Geo Archon, one must follow the contract given right down to the last letter. These patterns are ancient, and you can also find them in the Golden House. Ah, Paimon's her dad name before! Shh. Huh? The design of this kite displays a firm <laughs> grasp on the cyclicality and eternity so dear to the Electro Archon. These markings of tree and leaf pay due honor to wisdom and the passage of time. All this on a single kite. Truly astonishing. Justice flows across the surface of the waters. War rages like a flame. As does that which the Cryo Archon once. <sighs> yes. These details are masterfully done. <laughs> the compliments of a learned man true. Well then, Granny Shen. I shall take these back with me. As for the payment. As for the payment, he says. Well, allow me. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Hey, it's child. <laughs> no, I was merely passing through. I see Mr. Zhang Li's the same as ever. When paying, well, when getting others to pay for him, he neither looks at the price tag nor his wallet. He knows a great deal about money and about the trials of the common man. He just doesn't consider poverty to be something that could ever happen to him. Or perhaps, you could say that he cannot imagine himself lacking money. How has he not died of hunger yet? <laughs> Child, you are as fond of jokes as ever. Well then, since we've purchased our kites without it, the right of parting requires helping hands as well as materials. We should be able to find some people near the harbor. This is the longest conversation. Oh, I by the heard. way, take this bag of money. You probably yeah. won't want to let Zhang Li do the bargaining, if you know what I mean. Yes, we know. Hmm. Seems I missed Let's out say, on some well, interesting guy. information. I suppose I'll just have to find a more opportune moment next time. I still do not trust him. Okay. That is a lot of money. The fact can be useless. Find three workers. Hiring help? Sure. But let me just say first that I'm a reserve member of the Adventurers Guild. I take adventuring commissions, but I don't do anything clerical. Adventure? 
Venturing into the mountains to capture a... Eh? That's not hard. Almost a bit too easy for a reserve adventurer. Nah, never mind. I'll only charge you 15,000, Mora. What say you? A most fair price. <sighs> a pleasure doing business with you. Because it's not my money. I do not like to bargain. If they can produce for us, then they can. Otherwise, I'll just give them the money. A full day of odd jobs at Eugene Terrace. Hmm. No problem. 25,000 per day. A fair trade, yes? Whoa, that's expensive. Um, could you give us a bit of a discount on account of the whole Hero of Mondstadt thing? <laughs> Hero of Mondstadt? Never heard of them. Well, you may uh, never have heard of this hero, but it seems you've heard of Mora nonetheless. Thus, I will simply pay the whole sum. You know what? It's not my money. Come on. All right, let's see what. Let's wait. Let's top prices. Hmm. Yeah, this price will do. No loss to me for a day's work. All right. Maybe I should work a little bit. <laughs> Negotiate a bit lower money. Wait, how many money do I have? How do I count those? I never did that. So. So let's try and then and so. so then we uh, good. Yeah. Oh. I did liberty. Huh. So yeah, we're going to bargain the price. Oh, help? Sure. I, Tick, always put in 100% effort into everything I do. Of course, there'll be a premium if you want me to give 110%. So what's the job? Let me see. We are still missing some wooden implements over at Eugene Terrace. They aren't uncommon objects, so I didn't make any special preparations for them. No problem. That'll be 20,000 mora for a single trip. How does that sound? Done. This is all you got? Then no can do. Child? Uh, no, no, no. He's putting up the money? Thou still no. Wouldn't that mean I have to make two trips rather than one? How about this? Let's make a trade. I'll take what you're offering right now, and... Get me a single chinksen flower, and I'll consider that payment for a detour to find this child fellow. How does that sound? Guess we've got no choice. I think I have it. So let's try it. Have you brought the goods? Hey, that's pretty good. These things are pretty rare, and I have no idea where I'd find them. With this chinks and flower, I should be able to pacify my daughter tonight. I'll make sure the work is done before I return home. All right. Looks <laughs> like adventuring beforehand is quite useful. Talk to the child. Yeah, talk to the kindergarten child. I still don't get it. why the name that. Well, let's just stick to the old fashioned way for now. All finished then? Splendid. 
Any leftover cash is yours to keep. A favor for the Fatui should never go unrewarded. I do not buy us off with some loose change. No way. Paimon demands to know when the next payment is coming. <laughs> oh, come well, on, Paimon. How does Seriously? This you give me the information I need, and maybe I'll leave the Northland Bank's vaults open and unattended for half an hour. What info do you need? No! No! Paimon, really? Huh. Does that mean you know what he's after? Are you forgetting what happened in Monster? Yikes! You're right! Signora! <laughs> You both need to calm down. I don't know what's gotten into you. Just what is this about? The atmosphere got so tense all of a sudden. I do not trust him. Please. Next, we need some everlasting incense. For this, we need to go to Boo Boo Pharmacy, the finest pharmacy in all of. All right. Is. Everything okay? Everything is fine. I was just informing them that they need not return the surplus mora. Now if you'll excuse me, I must be going. I do not trust him. I, I do definitely not felt trust like him. Child wasn't happy with us just now. Well, I think he is going to betray us anyway. Oh, Paimon gems. Do we have more? Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Finish. Hmm. Let's teleport there. And we are going there. And we have to climb there. That part sucks. Seriously. <sighs> the name of... did not sing that song. Did not sing that song. That song is really stuck in my head right now. Boo Boo Pharmacy. Huh? Did you hear that? Where did it come from? The reception, it seems. How about you go check it out and Paimon will bring up the rear? Yeah, of course. Of course you'll pick up the rear. Yeah, it's a shorty. It's an adorable shorty. Oh, there you are! But you can't even reach the counter! <gasps> but, but Paimon, if you're talking about hide, you're... Joke's on you! Paimon floats! So hide is no restriction! Anyway... There's something weird about this one over here. What's the talisman doing on her forehead? It can't be. She's... a zombie! Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. I am Chi Chi. Once upon a time, Chi Chi died. Then, Chi Chi was saved by the Adepti. Now, Chi Chi is a zombie. Such for a bombshell reveal. Something like this would be unimaginable in Mondstadt. Uh, hello, little girl. Do you sell everlasting incense here? Excuse me, sir. 
Did you bring your prescription? I... Surely no prescription is needed to purchase everlasting incense. It's not a controlled substance. Chi-Chi can get your medicine. But only if you show Chi-Chi your prescription. These are Chi-Chi's orders from Chi-Chi. Orders from Chi-Chi? Zombies are limited to acting within the confines of their orders. And somehow in this case, the zombie issues her own orders to herself. My dear Chi-Chi, we didn't bring a prescription, I'm afraid. But we do hope that you can still help us find some everlasting incense. Okay then. How did you manage that? Because he's a god. But Chi-Chi helps you. You help Chi-Chi. Only <laughs> fair. Since yeah, when do customers the trading need to do food. favors for customer service staff? Never mind. Just think of it as a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. That way everybody wins. Sometimes in Liyue, the art of the deal is simply about victory via mental gymnastics. Go to Mount Tianhong, find the Guizhong Ballista, and hunt a cocoa goat. Please and thank you. A what goat? Cocoa goat? Hmm. Huh. Guizhong Ballista. I have heard of this device before. It's a kind of crossbow turret, installed on Mount Chinhong by an adeptus in the distant past. An early mechanical device. Located in Chinhong Pass, it was designed to automatically fire at large monsters, protecting Liyue from external threats. Mr. Zhang Li really knows Liyue inside out. Apparently yeah. not quite. This is the first I have ever heard of the Coco Goat. The Coco Goat is a legendary animal, an adept beast. Did you want to add anything else, or...? Do no, not ask her. Just that the Coco Goat is a legendary animal, an adept beast. What it looks like, don't know. Where to find it, don't know either. Where it came from, also don't know. Yeah, tell us if you remember anything else you don't remember. Very well then. Let's start by investigating near the Guizhong Ballista. Perhaps we will find some God. clues. <sighs> My sarcasm is an What the heck is a coca goat? Maybe it's a chocolate goat. Or cocoa goat. You know, get it like Coco. You know, I'm gonna stop it right there. My joke is not much of a good one. God, I really love Team Wolf. I'm obsessed with it. I have a bad feeling what Coco goes is. And hope that bad feeling. This is just a bad feeling. Mm. God, this kind of remind me of Clash of Clans. It's huge! Paimon can totally believe it took an Adeptus to build this. But how do you operate this thing? Just think how much strength you would need. Hmm. It is currently inoperable in any case. This device is broken. Aw, what? It broke? After millennia of wear and tear, even Adepti contraptions are difficult to maintain. So what are we gonna do? <gasps> Quick, Mr. Zhongli, use your unlimited high society knowledge powers! Hmm. You almost make it sound like I'm some sort of bourgeois parasite whose only utility lies in providing quaint pieces of trivia on demand. That said, let me think for a moment. Ah, yes. Spare parts were made for the Guizhong Ballista when it was first... As I recall, there is a military supply post from that period somewhere inside the pass. If we can retrieve the spare parts from where they are stored, 
We may be able to repair the Guizhong Ballista. One just needs to understand the basic working principles of the device. So... what you're saying is that... I have a smattering of knowledge on the topic. With the parts in yeah, hand, you'll... I could at least tinker with it. You're the one who built it. I know it. Where is that supply post? Here, post. Hmm. Uh, we can come for the first picture by the hands of mortal craftsmen through. Not to the collector and parts, namely the beams and balls, are all found fold and stock in the storeroom. How do I get in? Okay. Okay, I think we just have to Keep this close. <sighs> the fact when did I <sighs> come here though? Cause I don't even remember coming here. The fact I did I still Freaking that somebody. Huh. Oh, I should have done that then. How do I get the tree the <laughs> oh. 
How do I do it? Come on, this is... Alright, this is going to be a long video though. Terra smash! Okay, Terra smash didn't happen. Come on, what do I have to do? Okay, maybe if I go for more. <sighs> How do I retrieve? Maybe if I go here? Well, the fact nothing here, so this. Question is, how do I retrieve it? I think I got yeah. an idea how to get it. A reward on the road. Keep this close. Alright. With this battle, I got an idea. Hope I'm right though. If I'm not... Because I want to check again. I'm just here. That is. I'll keep this close. Maybe if I light this. No, oh, no. Doesn't open up. on 
the road. How'd that work? Alright. I remember having this ah, in Clash of Clans. These parts look useful. But one moment. I will try to repair the device. It is done. The Guizhong Ballista is more intricately designed than I thought. Ooh! Now how do we turn it on? It's easy enough. We simply need to do this. Look, it even has a scope. Over here we have... nothing. And over there... more nothing. Hey! Just what do you think you're doing? So you fixed up this turret, because you're planning to do what, exactly? Not a turret. A Guizhong Ballista. Also, kindly state your name before you ask a question. It's just good manners. Ha! <laughs> Are you blind or something? You're looking at the leader of the treasure hoarders, old man. This area is supposed <laughs> to be chock full of he hidden is. treasures, but you can't get anywhere near them with this thing keeping watch. <laughs> It might look like any other mechanical device, but trust me, it's got a mind of its own. Last time we approached the mountain, it nearly skewered one of our guys. A few of us risked our lives to disarm it, which amazingly we managed. And then we turn our backs for two seconds, and you've already gone and repaired it! The next thing you'll be repairing is your faces, and that's if you get out of this alive! Tut tut. Vandalizing the legacy of an adeptus for selfish gain. Disgraceful behavior. Come on, let me play it. It is not SM. we who need reprimanding, but you. Yes! Please, please! No, come on, server. Huh. These low lights didn't know who they were messing 
with. Troubling <laughs> ourselves over this rabble is not worth the time. We should focus on our contract with Chi-Chi. Oh, yeah, that! So we've got the Guizhong Ballista working, but where's our Coca Goat? A search using the Guizhong Ballista revealed no significant life forms nearby, save for the usual wildlife. What's more, a contraption built using Adeptus technology should have no trouble detecting an Adepta beast, as Chi Chi put it. <sighs> Which means. A Paimon wouldn't go that far. We did something positive, right? <sighs> We won't solve anything while standing here and racking our brains. Let's return to Boo Boo Pharmacy, explain that we could not find a cocoa goat, and review Boo -boo our next Boo Boo Pharmacy. Step. Good idea. <laughs> we did our best, and that's what counts. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to end my video right here. All right, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next day and next video. Bye.